Hey guys, Baby R20 back again. Today is very exciting because we're in Sandusky, Ohio at the roller coaster capital of the world, Cedar Point. We're going to ride Top Thrill 2, the world's tallest and fastest triple launch coaster. Very excited. This is a special event for Gold Pass members only. I can't really give you my on ride reaction because you're not allowed to have anything in your pockets or anything like that. You actually have to rent a locker. So unfortunately, I can't take you on the ride, but we're gonna go ahead and ride the ride right now, and then we'll go ahead and give you guys our reaction afterwards. So we are the first ones to ride, four to five o'clock p.m. We gotta go ahead and ride it right now. Let's go do it. So here is the new entrance to the ride right here. Awesome. They are testing other rides in the park, but unfortunately you can't ride any of them. You can only ride Top Thrill uh, Top Thrill 2, Corkscrew, Power Tower, and I believe the Super Himalaya. So you do need to get a locker when you ride this ride, which is unfortunate. You have to pay for a locker. It's not like Steel Vengeance where they give you a free locker. And uh, that's what we gotta do now. So we gotta go to the queue, get a locker. Good. And good, enjoy the ride. Thank you, thank you. So that's what we're doing right now, on our way to get a locker. There's the policy. They do have metal detectors and stuff, so you do need a locker. What do you think about the locker policy? I think it's garbage. It's, yeah, I don't like it. Now when this used to be called Dragster, it would actually sometimes not make it all the way up the hill and you would get a rollback. And people really enjoyed that. So in this ride, they make it to where you actually have a rollback every time, as you can see right here. There they go. So as you can see, you don't quite make it up the hill. I actually wish it went a little higher than that for the rollback, but coming back here is a crazy fast 101 miles an hour. That part was insane right there. Pure insanity, man. Okay, so we just got done riding uh, Top Thrill 2. Uh, I think it's way better than the original Dragster. Uh, I think when you shoot backwards at 100 miles an hour and you go up the spike, that was the highlight for me. Uh, that was insane. Uh, going over the top hat was awesome, but for me, going backwards was the best of all. And as you can see, they're running it right now. Melissa, what did you think? Well, it was insane. And it, the best part and the worst part was the, was when you go over, because like it throws you out. There's so much air time, like my stomach was in my throat, but it was fun. It was very well worth it. Definitely not doing it again, because I'm not waiting four hours in line, but it was fun. Now you said you got sick, right? I did. For a little bit I felt nauseous, but it, it went away. Now I do have to make a correction. We did not have to pay for the lockers because it's a special event. But if you do come on opening day, Saturday, you are going to have to unfortunately pay for the lockers. But since this is a special event, uh, we did not have to pay for lockers, which is a good thing. But unfortunately, you will have to pay for lockers if you do come here and try to ride it during the season. Okay, it's her first time riding Corkscrew. It's one of the rides that are actually open today. Are you excited? Super excited! A lot of people don't really ride this ride. There's really never a wait. But it's one of the rides open today, so we're gonna go on it. Okay, we're just getting off uh, Corkscrew. Uh, probably my least favorite roller coaster in the park. Let's see what Melissa thought of her first ride. It was a, it's a one and done for me. What was that? One and done for me. You did not like it. Did not. No, nope. I got a my head hit the back of the seat. I feel like I got a concussion, <laughs> and it's just not comfortable. It's not a comfortable ride. It's not a fun ride. No. That's why there's never a wait for that ride. Yeah. No. One and done. Never again. So Power Tower is supposed to be open, but it is 
Delayed for maintenance. Great, great. I did hear that Magnum's open though, so we're gonna go check out Magnum probably. And um, that's pretty much it for the preview day. But uh, stay tuned. So the Magnum XL200 is finally open. Looks like the wait isn't too long. You can't really take anything on this ride either, so you gotta get a locker. And they're actually free. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but I'm trying to figure this thing out. Let's see here. Figure it out? I sure did. We're ready to go. Ready to go. All right. Whoops. Enjoy the free locker now because once the season starts, it's not free. Nope. So as you can see, there ain't much of a line here. But if you come on the off season, you can just walk right on this thing. But not too bad of a wait. Probably like 10 minutes or so. I love the Magnum. A lot of people think it's too rough, but I love it. Oncoming riders, please enter the train carefully. Riders on the platform. You ready? Step back. So ready. The gates will be closed. Once seated, ensure your seatbelt is fastened and tight and secure. You're gonna be going up that big the hill here soon. Lift up on your lap bar. Make sure it is locked securely on your lap. All right, well, we're about to ride the Magnum again, and that pretty much sums up our trip here at Cedar Point. Uh, there wasn't much to do. There's only four rides really open right now, so uh, top thrill too. You got to come. You got to come try it out. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you. Awesome. What a way to end the day. World debut. First rider. Got your pin? Yes, I did. Awesome. First rider. Well, that's going to sum up the day here at Cedar Point. Thank you guys for joining us for this special vlog of riding Top Thrill 2. The world's tallest and fastest triple launch coaster in the world. Ah, come try it out for yourself. Pretty much all for right now, guys, and there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.